Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Eat Epic Plants with Jackson. Today we're gonna make uh, what I like to call Do You Even Pound Health Bro Salad? I pound health, bro. So in the last episode, I basically showed you how to make a kind of my my typical favorite thought for food focused breakfast, um, which was overnight oats, and it was pretty epic, I, I, I must say. Um, but so kind of continuing along with the meal time, um, I thought it would be cool to show you what my current favorite lunch is. And so it's essentially just a really big, amazing, healthy, delicious plant-based salad that uh, just really kind of covers all the bases in my opinion for a really health promoting kind of whole foods meal. So let's check it out what you need. So like any good salad, we're gonna start with some greens. This is romaine lettuce, uh, purple cabbage, more on that later. And then any, any other kind of greens, this is like 50-50 blend, mixed greens, spinach. Um, I like to have hummus in there for some sauce along with salsa. This is just an awesome local um, Sun Valley salsa. Adding in with, I'm not much of a dressing person, so if you like dressing, definitely hit up the dressing. A little bit of sweet chili sauce. Of course, nutritional yeast. And then here's what makes this a little bit more of a hearty, full-on meal. So we have chickpeas and cooked quinoa, and I just do like either canned chickpeas or in the Instant Pot and I usually like to have them in there cold. Avocado, of course. And then optional ingredient, you know what it is, turmeric baby. Quarter teaspoon with a little bit of black pepper, good to go. You're also gonna need a big ass bowl to put all of this in, just to let you know. And so again, kind of like the last one, this is sort of a template. So don't necessarily take all of these ingredients and like it's set in stone and this is what you have to have. These are just my favorite ingredients right now. I switch it up. Sometimes I do sweet potato instead of quinoa or black beans instead of chickpeas or I'll do arugula instead of you know spring mix. This is just kind of a template. It's a, it's a blank slate. It's your canvas whatever you want to add in here and, and kind of mix and match whatever you like. This is just an idea for a sort of kind of simple staple meal to have, especially for lunch. So it's really easy to put together. I'll just show you how to do it really quickly. So I start off with, so I start off with the romaine and purple cabbage as kind of the base, the foundation for this beautiful salad. So I just chop up, I rinsed off the cabbage and the lettuce. And I just chop up about maybe half of one of these whole heads. Okay, and then I just take the head of purple cabbage and I slice it in half. And then I just slice it very thinly since it's going in raw. This goes in. I like quite a lot of purple cabbage because it's delicious. And then I take the chickpeas, however much you want. Again, this is all based on how much quantity you want. I'll do about like half a can of chickpeas. I'm also getting the chickpeas in the uh, hummus. Then quinoa, boom. Maybe like a cup, two cups, depending on how hungry you are. I just finished a bike ride, so I need some cows. Then, of course, the avocado, boom. I'll do probably half, and I'm just not very fancy with this, as you might have gathered by now. And then a little bit of spring mix. I sometimes don't usually do this, but I need to get, this This mix is going bad, so um, just adding that in there. All right, so that's sort of the base. That's you know kind of the main ingredients in there, and then I will add in the sauce. So again, I'm not a dressing, salad dressing person really at all. Um, I like to have things like salsa and hummus and stuff like that. And um, so I'm getting two forms of chickpeas and slash legumes in this salad, which is epic. Roasted red pepper hummus. I'll just take like a nice spoonful, boom. Then a little bit of salsa in here. Okay, turmeric, quarter teaspoon. That's an optional ingredient again. That's, it's, it's potent and it, it kind of does impact the flavor, get the black pepper. I just really like it in salad. Of course, 
nutritional yeast, essential. Boom. And then recently I've also been really liking this uh, sweet chili sauce, really good. Just a little bit. And so yeah, there you have it. That's the preparation for all of this. And I just, I, I really just honestly mix it. Just look at that, that's just beautiful, I mean, you can't go wrong with that many plants in one place. Delicious, amazing, epic, huge, covers all the bases, great meal, tons of amazing ingredients. But why? Why is this so healthy? Why do these ingredients come together in such a way? And what makes this just my favorite meal right now? Well, in order to answer that question, we must science. 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 All right, so I've been dialing in this salad recipe for a couple months now, really kind of finding the perfect balance for me and why I just love this salad and why I want, why I want you to eat this salad at, as every day if you can, as much as you can, because it's incredibly healthy and it's incredibly delicious and very easy and simple and fast to put together. So let's talk about greens. Of course, a, any salad is going to have greens in it. Greens are an epic source of nitrates in the plant-based diet. Nitrates are linked to lowering your risk for cardiovascular disease, lowering your blood pressure, they improve oxygen circulation and function throughout the body, great for athletes. Um, and you know, greens are just a great source of calcium. In fact, they're actually a better bioavailable source of calcium than cow's milk. And they have iron and t just basically tons of uh, micronutrients, minerals, and should be eaten every day. And so if you can just eat at least one giant salad a day like this, you're covering your bases. What about purple cabbage? You know if you watch my videos that I love purple cabbage, I'm a big fan. Purple cabbage is a huge source of anthocyanins. That is a basically a, a pigment with that's found within plant foods that, that color them certain colors. And so purple cabbage, obviously purple. Good job, Jackson. Um, anthocyanins are great antioxidant, basically. They are linked to lower risk of cancer. They improve brain health, eye function, all sorts of amazing, awesome shit. Then we have to talk about quinoa and chickpeas. So quinoa, whole grain, actually a seed, but that's besides the point. Great, uh, whole grains are something that you should eat at every meal. Same with legumes. Legumes, um, rich in fiber, high in protein, so is quinoa, and t just tons of uh, amazing properties. So legumes are also a great source of iron and folate and you know they don't have they don't carry the baggage of cholesterol and saturated fat like other protein sources do like meat i try to eat legumes at every meal a huge research study funded by um, the american institute for cancer research determined that eating beans at every meal is a, a super important way to reduce your cancer risk so that's why i have two sources of legumes in here um, chickpeas and hummus and what else? We got the turmeric, of course, great DNA damage um, repair source, super great antioxidant. And the avocado helps to bring out and, and make more bioavailable the fat soluble vitamins in the turmeric and the other amazing uh, foods in here. You know, uh, that's pretty much it. But I think that's uh, a ton of amazing things right there. You know, you have the greens, you have the purple cabbage, cruciferous vegetables is purple cabbage. So that's something you should be eating every day. Legumes slash whole grains. Um, and so I just think that this is a no brainer uh, meal. And so if you're kind of searching for a new lunch food or a new meal source for inspiration, kind of a template, I highly recommend beefing up your salad game because this is something that I have incorporated into my day most day, <clears throat> most days now, and I absolutely love it. I feel the effects, and I just know that um, you know eating this this meal is going to really improve my health and make me a better person. And so um, it's got everything you need, man. That's it. That's what that's what it's what it's all about. Peace out. Go eat some plants.